to another video. This is kind of like a Photoshop tutorial uh, in regards to fall and autumn and all the uh, color changing and the leaves going on here. Uh, so what I'm going to show you here is a really quick and easy way to change the colors of your leaves in, in your photos. If you haven't really gone out and taken uh, taken photos in the peak time of autumn or fall. And uh, this is a couple really quick steps and you're going to have a really amazing looking photo. So what I got here is I got a photo offline. I just pulled a, a random one that had a really, uh, really uh, you know, like a whole bunch of greens in it. So you can see the drastic change it has. And uh, when you bring it into Photoshop, you can just go to the adjustment layer down here and you can choose hue and saturation. And now and uh, what I want to do is I mainly want to concentrate on the greens in this image. So I'm going to change the master up here to green. And then, uh, you know, you would you would hope that if you can change some of these, you know, you can move the slider around the hue to change the hue of the of the, of the greens in the image. It would kind of start changing, but it, it, it's not really working out. And there's really only a certain amount of area that Photoshop is looking to change the color. And so to change more of the greens in this image, you take this little note over here and you pull it a little farther over. And now when we change the color, the hue, you're seeing that the, you know, they're starting to look a little more red. They're, you're getting a more, uh, a more drastic image here. So I'm going to do a little bit there. I'm also going to lighten it a little bit up. Maybe do it right there. So you can see just with that, we changed green to yellow pretty much. Uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to add a little bit more color. So I'm going to actually go here and do selective color. And this will give me a little more creativity as far as uh, what, to, what to change. So I'm going to select yellows and I'm going to add a little more cyan to it. Right there. A little more magenta here to make it a little more red. Take the yellows. A little more over, over there. Now I can change the reds in the image. To, let's bump it over there. And this is where you kind of just play around with, uh, you know, how you want it to look. So right around, right around there. I think that kind of looks a little fallish. So uh, as you can see, the the ground here is really saturated, and we don't want that. So. I'm gonna, since this uh, comes with an adjustment layer, I'm just going to go over here to the brush, get a, a, a black brush that's soft, and just kind of paint that away. And now I'm going to add one more quick thing here, and that's going to be a photo filter. And a photo filter, well, I'm going to do a warming filter just to kind of warm it up a little bit to make it look fallish. And there we go. I think that's a drastic change from what we had. And now, I, after seeing the photo filter on there, I do like this, but I still don't like the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here and change my uh, brush to white. And I'm going to lower the opacity a little bit to paint in a little more, a little more of the reds. And just kind of spot, spot do it here so it just doesn't kind of look all one solid color. So there we go. We, got, we started out with this, and that was our ending image. I think it looks pretty good, not you know, not being taken in fall, so it looks really good. So thanks for uh, thanks for joining, guys. Please uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, also if you came here from the Picture Monk podcast, Picture Monk Photography podcast, thank you for coming here. <laughs> I, I told you I would release the video, uh, but if you haven't subscribed to the Picture Monk podcast, head on over to iTunes and search for Picture Monk, and you can uh, check out the podcast there, or you can go to picturemonk.com slash podcast, and that will uh, redirect you to iTunes. So uh, thanks again for joining me in this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.